The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is mankind's latest limitless IC, associating across immeasurable distances, getting light that has gone for more than 13 billion years. This light, in any case, tells us something other than an account of time. It reveals the progression of our universe, formed and stretched out by its non-stop development. As we peer back at the most distant systems, we're fundamentally seeing an old period moving progressively near the initiation of the universe, the Big Bang, the hypothesis of the ancient infinite explosion, an essential story of modern cosmology, strongly suggests that our universe had a specific beginning and is limited in age. Yet, from its introduction, this singular limitless start has been met with suspicion and hardships to its authenticity. Proceeding, indeed, even in standard cosmology, for all and all a long time, the hypothesis of the universe is beginning held strong, especially after the revelation of the limitless microwave background, CMB, during the 1960s. This establishment radiation, a feeble, far-reaching mumble across the universe, changed impeccably with gauges of a hot, thick early universe. At any rate, significant observations by the JWST recently feel a little vigilant and have raised new issues about the Big Bang's realness. Through the shocking clarity of the JWST, NASA's huge time machine, we've seen lots of old-fashioned systems, far greater and more different than expected, testing our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the telescope peers back to when the first systems formed, it offers mankind a wonderful view, one that the Hubble telescope couldn't totally access. Hubble was simply not sufficiently sensitive to recognize the incredibly faint, redshifted light of these earliest systems. Anyway, with JWST's top-tier limits, we're looking toward the possible past, truly near time itself. As we venture into this obscure space, we encounter a well-established secret. How did the first universes really form, and does the universe, to the extent that we may be concerned, genuinely have a singular decisive beginning? The earliest universe was a hot, dull spot so thick that light itself couldn't energetically travel. This suggests that, regardless of how strong our telescopes are, we can't see any further back with light. In any case, we are not confined to light alone. New mechanical advancements are making the way for the acknowledgement of gravitational waves from affecting black holes, which could serve as another avenue to peer back into the universe's beginning phases perhaps even into the very quirk we call the Big Bang. The underpinnings of the hypothesis of how things came to be, the theory of the universe's starting point and its expanding exhaustion, stretch back to the 1920s and 30s, when astronomers first noticed that distant systems appear to be moving away from us. This discovery, combined with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang model. Einstein's circumstances suggested that a static universe would be unstable, requiring, instead, narrowing and then expansion. Seeing this, the development proposed that systems had most likely been closer together in the distant past, suggesting a tricky beginning for the universe. The universe's expansion has a few huge repercussions. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light released from them stretches out, moving to longer frequencies as time occurs. Since frequency corresponds to energy, with additional limited frequencies being more redshifted. This redshift means the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this tremendous expansion, we arrive at a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms could not exist, leading to a uniform, searing hot glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Pincius and Robert Wilson accidentally detected the cosmic microwave background a certain radiation field faintly repeating the universe's bursting beginning. Yet, as the JWST stretches the boundaries of cosmic observation, researchers are finding features in the early universe that strain the traditional Big Bang story. We see massive, brilliant astronomical systems where there should be none, gathering in ways that challenge assumptions. So, if the hypothesis of the universe's origin alone doesn't account for these inconsistencies, what else could? At the center of the Big Bang theory lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where existence, as far as we know it, began. Anyway, this concept, though strong, has limitations. Imagine attempting to describe the amount of existence packed into an unimaginably dense point. 
This is where our perception reaches a halting point. Regardless of the way that various portions of the Big Bang model have been maintained by observations and lab tests, this initial singularity remains a mystery. Could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? In its journey to understand the universe, science has found ways to recreate similar conditions. For instance, quark-gluon plasma has been created in laboratories, and matter-antimatter pairs have been formed to align with early universe assumptions. Through these experiments and by analyzing the cosmic microwave background's variations, we have a well-supported picture of the universe's progression. Yet, massive mysteries remain. For example, if all regions of space were once compressed into a singular point, why do we notice such consistency in the universe's temperature? According to traditional models, regions of space should show varying temperatures, as they could never have had the chance to exchange energy or information. Additionally, we would expect to track down remnants from the hottest moments, such as magnetic monopoles or spatial irregularities, but none are observed. These discrepancies open the door to further possibilities. Either the universe naturally had these uniform properties from the beginning, or there was some force that constrained these conditions. One potential explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion believed to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed this revolutionary idea. He speculated that before the hot Big Bang, the universe underwent an extraordinary expansion. The inflationary stage could figure out why the universe shows up level, homogeneous, and isotropic. Later, expansion of the universe would change into the hot, thick state related to the huge explosion, clearing a path for worlds, stars, and planets to form. In any case, as specialists now recognize, even endless expansion doesn't determine every eccentricity. For example, noteworthy perceptions by the JWSD have uncovered amazingly huge cosmic systems from the universe's beginning stages, suggesting an accelerated development rate that expansion alone doesn't make sense of. The JWSD's unimaginable limits offer humanity an outstanding investigation of the universe. This 10 billion infrared telescope has caught staggering photos of the early universe, uncovering an assortment of tremendous, splendid universes from when the universe was only a negligible portion of its continuous age. While cosmologists recently accepted they had a strong understanding of how matter coalesced to form the first stars and worlds, the JWST's disclosures suggest an unexpectedly rapid improvement. These perceptions have blended both fervor and distrust among scientists, as certain researchers are forced to revisit key assumptions about universe formation. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, colossal systems seen within the initial 500 million years of astronomical history oppose existing models. The JWST's preliminary discoveries show that universes in this early epoch might be much larger and more varied than previously suspected, possibly housing masses comparable to present-day huge galaxies like the Milky Way. This rapid improvement challenges current cosmological models, which suggested that a galaxy of such scale wouldn't form until 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies may form surprisingly quickly, prompting the possibility of new theoretical designs for vast advancement. Dark matter, an intangible and puzzling substance, is believed to make up around 85% of the universe's mass, forming the enormous scale structure of the universe. Traditional cosmology proposes that galaxies form inside gigantic halos of dark matter, which gravitationally attract normal matter, allowing stars and galaxies to form. However, JWSD observations challenge this model, as galaxies appear to be forming in ways that defy our understanding of dark matter distribution. The presence of dark energy, a similarly elusive force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion, further complicates the picture. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a brief lift in dark energy density, could have sped up galaxy formation. At any rate, aligning with JWST discoveries, such changes should fit within the broader structure of the standard cosmological model, which has already explained vast expansion at large scales. As compelling as the Big Bang theory is, it isn't the only explanation for the universe's origins. Several alternative theories have gained attention each offering intriguing perspectives. The steady-state hypothesis, unlike the Big Bang, proposes a universe without a beginning 
where matter continually appears as the universe expands. This theory suggests that as galaxies move apart, new matter is created, maintaining a uniform density. However, it fails to account for the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory, a more speculative idea, proposes that two universes were born in the Big Bang, one moving forward in time and the other moving backward. This twin universe would expand in reverse, providing a mirror image of our own universe's history. Though highly speculative, it suggests that the universe could be more complex than previously imagined. The simulation hypothesis raises the possibility that our universe is a simulation created by an advanced human civilization. Quantum entanglement and the extraordinary nature of space-time lend theoretical weight to this idea, though it remains unprovable. Nevertheless, the simulation theory raises questions of fate and reality, challenging how we understand existence. The multiverse hypothesis, a popular alternative, proposes an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws. According to this model, changes in dark energy trigger various Big Bang-like events, creating a vast multiverse as our universe expands, leaving a void of dark energy. This model suggests a constant cycle of creation, destruction, and rebirth. Each of these theories offers unique insights into cosmic origins, raising new questions about the nature of space, time, and matter. While the theory of the Big Bang remains the dominant explanation, it has been tested and reshaped by new evidence and fresh perspectives. The JWST, with its unparalleled sensitivity, is poised to unlock even more secrets of the universe. As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming spectroscopic data will enable more precise measurements of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to refine their understanding of cosmic evolution. As the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to expand our journey into the universe, its discoveries promise to reshape how we understand various fundamental cosmic processes. One area likely to see significant updates is the formation and development of galaxies. By and large, scientists believe that galaxies formed from small clusters of matter that grew over time, organized by gravity. However, the JWST has revealed evidence of galaxies that seem to have formed much earlier than previously thought. These early galaxies are not only larger and more varied than expected, but they also appear to have developed complex structures in a fraction of the time researchers had imagined possible. This raises fascinating questions about the processes driving galaxy formation. While gravity certainly plays a key role, the discovery of such large galaxies in the early universe suggests that other factors might be at work. One hypothesis involves the role of supermassive black holes, which could act as central engines for galaxy formation. If these black holes formed early in the universe's history, their powerful gravitational forces might have accelerated the rate at which surrounding matter clumped together, leading to the rapid formation of massive galaxies. Additionally, the energy released by these black holes could have triggered bursts of star formation, further accelerating galaxy development. The JWST's ability to detect light from the earliest galaxies also offers new insights into the chemical composition of the universe at different stages of its evolution. Earlier telescopes, like Hubble, could observe distant galaxies, but their sensitivity was limited when it came to detecting the faint light emitted by early galaxies. The JWST, with its larger mirror and infrared capabilities, can detect galaxies that existed within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These observations are revealing a universe that was much more chemically diverse than previously thought. For example, the JWST has identified galaxies that appear to contain metals, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, a lot earlier than cosmologists had predicted. This suggests that star formation in the early universe may have been more complex, with the first stars enriching the surrounding gas with heavier elements much more quickly than anticipated. 